Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Monday and I have your word for the day. Have you ever wondered what a fully devoted follower of Jesus Christ looks like? A couple of years ago, some key leaders of our church wrestled with that question. How do we know when Calvary is hitting the mark and helping people become fully devoted to Jesus? Well, we wrestled with that question and we landed on seven characteristics that we believe every follower of Jesus will demonstrate and every follower of Jesus will be growing in. In other words, they'll be getting better in these seven areas. The areas are loving, growing, connecting, forgiving, serving, inviting, and giving. This week, we're going to, to really focus on loving. Jesus said in Mark chapter 12, verse 30, And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, all your strength. And he said the second commandment is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. In Luke chapter 10, people were being picky and they asked Jesus, well, okay, I'm supposed to love my neighbor as myself. Who is my neighbor? And basically Jesus answered and said, who isn't your neighbor? Today, instead of really focusing on everybody and how to love and care for everybody, I want to ask you about your physical neighbors, the people that live around you, the people across the street and to the left and the right. Can your physical neighbors tell that you're a follower of Jesus through the way that you interact with them? Not because they see you leave for church every weekend, not because they see you leave for life group. Can they tell that you're a follower of Jesus by the way you interact with them? Do you demonstrate love to the person right across the street or in the house beside you to such a degree they can tell something is different about you? They can tell God has truly changed your life. A neat thing that my wife does is a couple times a year, my wife and my daughters, they bake cookies or they make little breads and they take it to all of our neighbors. They'll have conversations with them. They'll touch base with them. And Christy almost always comes back with prayer needs of our neighbors. We find out so much with just those little visits. Then throughout the year, we're able to connect with them. We wave to them. We talk to them. We know our neighbors. Let me encourage you, think about how you are demonstrating love to your physical neighbors. Just consider it. What are some things that you can do better today? How can you show them love this afternoon? And then begin to grow in that area and, and maybe slowly begin to widen that circle and love those a little bit further away, love those a few more houses down. Show them random acts of kindness. Maybe invite them over to dinner one night or, or maybe take that 90-year-old couple a, a home-cooked meal one night. Ask God to open your eyes up to the people around you so you can love them with all your heart. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, or leave a comment. God bless.